The Michael Long Leadership and Learning Centre is changing the lives of young Indigenous Territorians. Based at TIO Stadium in Darwin, the state-of-the-art sport, education and accommodation facility delivers leadership and personal development programs using sport to keep Indigenous youth engaged and motivated. How many? Five. Five. So can all your family go in there if they've got Mum, Dad, Calvin, Alvin, Melvin and Jamal? How many is that? Six. Six. So can all your family go in? How about slingshot? How about slingshot? Slingshot, nothing. What about if we've got a big mob family, alright, but we've only got five seat belts, can everybody come with us? Why not? Because we got five seats. But what might happen to us if we have an accident? Yeah. Big trouble. What if we're not wearing seatbelt though? What might happen? This man must stop you. Yo. And go jail. If your car's full, if all your family's in there, and then some family want to ride, what do you say to them? You don't see Boys and girls in the age range of 12 to 17 from remote communities will have the opportunity to join in a week long residential program. The Northern Territory Motor Accidents Commission has formed a unique long-term partnership with the Michael Long Leadership and Learning Centre. Max investment in the partnership will see road safety awareness and education as a core component of the residential program. If you have a little brother that's four years old, should he be using an adult seatbelt? No. No, what kind of seatbelt should he use? Baby seatbelt. Baby seatbelt. Seat. Well done. If your cousin is going hunting with his you and he wants you to stand on the back because there's not enough room in the Say front. No. Of the no! Should we do it or not? No, well done. Come on, next to me. What do we need to remember? Keep the hand right in the back. Okay, good. Our aim is to create generational change in road user attitudes and behaviours and to reduce death and serious injury. Topics such as drink driving, seat belts, speed, driver distraction and driving to the conditions will be tailored to suit each age group. The first trial program in May comprised a group of 12 and 13 year olds from Manangrida. At this age, while they can't control the car or the driver, they can decide whether or not to wear a seat belt. The Road Safety Program is about taking this serious message and making it fun using sport, art and hands-on activities and games. And the learning doesn't stop at the centre. Teachers and others from the remote communities involved participate in the week-long residential program so they can take the message home with them. The AFLNT Regional Development Managers are Road Safety Ambassadors who will continue to promote road safety back in the communities. Now this certificate is for the winner of the road safety challenge. You have to wear your seatbelt and what else do you have to and do when you get back to Manangrida? Congratulations, you've all won your football. Well done. Yes. Um, boys. Yes. 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 Yes.